Hello and welcome back. And did you have a nice summer? Did you wake up to a nice email this morning? That is right. Plex had a data breach. An unidentified third party managed to get through their systems and take away a bunch of people's data. And a lot of users today have woken up to an email from Plex detailing that this has occurred. Now at this time, we do not know if it is only the people that have received emails whose data have been affected here, or it is larger than that. Indeed, right now at the time of recording this, when I was trying to get some of the instructions and stock footage for this video, I noticed that Plex.tv is largely inaccessible. And that is, I'm hoping, because of an overwhelming number of users logging into it right now, but fingers crossed that isn't something for a follow-up video. But at least right now, large numbers of users are waking up to finding out that Plex has had a breach. What has been affected? Um, the information that has been obtained from this particular data subset is email addresses, it is usernames, it is authentication data, particularly concerning, but also uh, securely, they say, hashed passwords there. Now, on that last one, what that means is they are saying that all the passwords that were stored in this particular data subset were hashed out. They were encrypted with their own particular algorithm. Now, that doesn't mean it's completely inaccessible. A third party can start getting to work and trying to crack that algorithm to get those passwords. But nonetheless, the email address, username information, and authentication data is already quite a lot of secure information to be out there in the public, or oh, I say public domain, in the third party that has chosen to half inch this data. Now, this isn't the first time this has happened. Back in August 2022, there was a very, very similar breach to this by Plex. We're kind of used to it by now with a lot of our services, but it cuts particularly deep when it is your data are largely on your servers that suddenly a little doorway may have opened up. Why is this a big deal? Notwithstanding the general security threat and your data being shared by unofficial third parties, number one, it is a worry because you may have given the Plex application on your NAS way too much access. You might have given administration rules. Depending on the containerization of Plex deployment that you may have used, you may have given it some kind of super user status. You may have given it access to way too many folders and you may have given access for the Plex application, both read and write privileges on your system. That means that rather than just looking at the data and scraping some metadata in the background for those lovely images, Plex has the power to delete that data if someone gets in. Now, on top of that, there is the sensitivity of that data that has been obtained because a lot of that information is almost certainly going to include stuff like your IP, your identity for the system, and therefore, give an intended stealer of that information, a lot more information about your data storage setup, which is super annoying. So what do you need to do? Number one, sign out of all of those devices. I recommend doing all of this via a desktop device. You can do all this, by the way, on your mobile phone, set to uh, desktop mode, out of mobile mode. It'll just be a lot easier. And go to plex.tv if it's working right now. And then from there, go into the admin panel into the security settings and you'll see an option there to sign you out of all of the devices. It's really important to do that first. After you've done that, go into the password settings and then from there, change your password. The reason being that even if they manage to crack that password and the encryption, I should say, the Plex have used, it means you're still going to be in the clear there. And obviously, you're going to have to communicate to all of the users that have access to your Plex about the new password. Next up, if you haven't already done it, two-factor authentication. You're going to need to do that. It will mean you're going to have to go through the authentication process of all your connected relatives who are going to give you such a headache when you give them the code and they've only got 30 seconds till it refreshes, but better safe than sorry. And finally, go into the admin panel of your NAS, and I appreciate this is gonna be very different depending on your NAS platform, and double check what level of access you have given to that appliance. Now, I'm gonna hold back on going into more detail here in the video because of this whole not accessing Plex.tv concerned me somewhat um, for a follow-up video. But I'm going to make a second video on this. I wanted to get this out there to alert you now. Uh, and then the follow-up video, I will go into more detail about just how on different NAS platforms to amend those rules. So for example, on a QNAP, you would go in to the uh, user uh, um, area of the control panel. And then from there, you can say that the Plex application has only got access to these folders and read only. And therefore, it limits the scope of what can be obtained and also 
just how much information about your larger system could be garnered from a future third party hack on this scale. On top of that, we will look into some of the more DIY and containerized solutions as well. But rather than get all that B-roll recording and delay this video a day or two, I thought I'd get this out and then do a follow up as needed. But apart from that, check on your Plex, sign out your devices, change your password, add multi-factor authentication. Don't just assume because you didn't get the email that you are fine. Make your security rigid. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.